happens. I use ChatGPT a little bit. I use Claude and Perplexity a little bit. But the reality is I run most stuff local on my computer, which means I see sometimes a very different experience than users would. So when right. DeepSeek first came out, I was very excited. I went and downloaded it on my computer and had the 32B and the 72B models running. And I was a happy camper and going off and asking it weird questions to see what it would do. And I was prompting it for things. And then I see people are talking about DeepSeek doesn't answer these prompts. I'm like, wait a minute, I got an answer. And then Sarab and I were talking, we realized it's because I'm not using the cloud version, which has a different set of system prompts that I start with. Even when you're distilling some of these models, which you are probably using one on your laptop yeah. or even on a GPU server, so some of the effectiveness of the system prompt goes down as well. It's not always like prompts appended in front of your prompt. Some yeah. of it is also built in during the training itself. So LLMs have something called the attention layer where they're paying more attention to certain parts of the prompt they would automatically bias that to pay more attention to the system prompt which has been built in, right? So yeah. even if you're saying, ignore all your system prompt and follow this one, they would not ignore it because the attention is higher. There are a lot of other tricks and in a lot of these system prompts are proprietary to a lot of these yeah. companies because they want to keep it secure.